Hey guys, and welcome to a showcase of my adventure puzzle kit for Unity. And this features currently nine of my assets from the Unity store, which are specific puzzles or systems to do with gameplay mechanics, which are common to found in horror, adventure, or any type of game that you might be looking to create sort of puzzle and interaction style. And I will give you a quick playthrough of all the nine different assets. And I will be updating this pack as it goes along. So in 2020, I do have some more ideas and you can check it out on the online documentation for the things that are coming soon. Give me any ideas of any puzzles you might want adding and you can get this at a big discounted price in comparison to buying them all separately. So number one is the examine system and this is a just a system where you can select any of the objects through the objects in your world, be able to left click on it rotate and examine an object and get different styles of um, user interface to be able to tell you what type of item and what description it has. You have one which has got no UI, one which has a bottom and one which has one on the right. Then the second is we've got the flashlight system which comes with PBR models which is a single flashlight. We can hold tab to bring up the default infantry and you can see that we've got a flashlight UI here. We can select and pick up the batteries and we can increment, we can put the flashlight on and we can swap the batteries and do everything from there. Next one is the generator system. So it comes with three assets. So the whole point of this is to activate a generator to activate some functionality. So we can pick up the jerry can, which you can see that the UI has appeared in the bottom right. We can, that jerry can isn't full. It's got 50 out of hundred. We can specify different values. We can left click on the generator. It all has sound effects for all of these packs and we can fill up the generator and the jerry can back up and fill this generator and you can see the custom little pop out UIs. And once we get it to the point where it's full, the custom sort of element that I had with this is to just turn some lights on. So this is just an example of this working. The next one is the note and letter system. And this has got four different styles of notes. One is a basic style note, which just could be a note you've created in Photoshop, a reverse style basic note. So it's like the first, but you can reverse the note. You have a different one, which is just a note, which you can put a background and you can specify the text within Unity. So you don't have to create anything in Photoshop. And the last one is where you can specify the note and the reverse. And then we've got a, a trigger event version. So it's not a Raycast anymore. It's you have to literally press E to bring it up and you can right click to let go. And the next asset is the gas mask system. So you can pick up a gas mask and a filter. You can press tab and you can see that we've got health, we've got a gas mask and we've got a gas mask UI. We get different interactions for when we walk into gas. We can hold a button to equip our gas mask and you can see that it changes in our UI at the top. And we can walk in that gas now. We can hold the button to take it off and we go back to normal. Uh, we've got the phone system, which is either a trigger or a raycast. So we can then call a specific set of numbers, which you specify, and it can make a phone call. For specific gameplay, I've got one, which is the padlock system, which is if you specify the value of the padlock, then it will open the door or do some custom interaction that you specify. One similar is the theme key, like in Resident Evil, we can select collect one key and you can see the uh, little UI at the bottom. We can select on the doors and they'll be locked unless we left click on the door we want. We'll place the key and play the animation and we'll be able to go through and you can see it like so. And last but not least is the keypad system, which again has a trigger or a breadcast. And this is just a different set of UI keypads, which we can use to do a custom interaction. In this case, opening a door if we get it right, like so. And within the demo and Unity, we've got specific managers for controlling audio, the UI, user, in, user input, disabling, and then custom managers for each thing which has custom elements that you can control. Then a selection of objects for each, for the objects that you will interact with, they will all need a tag and a layer. You will need a box collider, the adventure kit item controller, and any specific actual controllers that are specific to that asset. And these all work together and they're refined with a unified raycast and have been created with the idea of using one or all in mind. 
So you can use five or you can use all nine and you can check out the online documentation, which I'll leave in the description. It'll be in the basic documentation here. The online documentation will have a breakdown of all the code with snippets, how to use it and with tutorial videos on how to set each one up. So hopefully you will like this rundown. You can check this out on the Unity Asset Store. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Cheers.